I can't even believe Nicki Minaj got the audacity to sit here and try to start a race a race war on Twitter on social media. She's bugging. She's she she always she always trying to do something out out, out of the ordinary just to get some attention. She's bugging. Let me tell y'all why she's bugging. Let me tell y'all why. Let me fix the phone first. Okay. Let me tell y'all why she's bugging. She she sat there at her own mouth, said on the radio that she that we don't buy or shop from Kmart, but white people shop from um Kmart, so they're gonna buy her clothes. She don't she she don't have anything to worry about because they're gonna buy her clothes. You feel me? Because they in Kmart and black people don't shop from Kmart. She was already aimed for the white people from the beginning of her career. She that's why she was made making pop music more than rap music. Billboard wanted to put her in, in the pop category, but she wanted to stay in the rap category. So she had to prove herself that she could um make rap music. That's why she did the re up. And she, she started uh dealing with local artists, upcoming artists, and then and that's the main reason why she started dealing with upcoming artists. Because one point on Twitter she did this upcoming artists on her page. This is true. This is very much true. She did upcoming artists. Iggy tried her hardest to try to work with um Nicki Minaj, but um Nicki Minaj um ignored her. So she can't say that it's racism in the music uh, game because a white woman like Iggy tried to work with her and she ignored her. That's number one. Number two, you got Nicki Minaj sitting here talking about, oh, um, you got to be skinny, this, that, and the third for your video. And she should have got um, Anaconda um, video of the year. She can't get mad if An Anaconda was treated like a garden snake. I mean, if your video was treated like a garden snake, you can't get mad, mama. I mean, let's just be real. You probably spent over a million dollars or close to a million dollars on your video, and it got treated like a garden snake. And you just can't be mad because there's other people out there who's talented. But it goes back to what you were saying. You're the only female on the 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 Forbes list. You're the only female doing this. You're the only female doing that. And now that you got some competition, you want to sit there and pull the race card. Oh, but Taylor Swift is getting this and getting that because she's white. No, you can't do that because you already said you're the only female doing this and you're the only female doing that. And the hip-hop world glorified you. But when Lil' Kim tried to put everybody on and tell everybody how she really is, oh, Lil' Kim was delirious. Lil' Kim was this and Lil' Kim was that. No, Lil' Kim was real. She as real as they come. But y'all wasn't trying to hear that, though. But on the other hand, you got people like Taylor Swift who knocks on her fans' door. I mean, Knocking on her fans' doors, saying, what's up, chill, whatever, let's do whatever, let's kick the boogie. And meanwhile, you get upset. You want to fight one of your fans that want to, you know, you want to punch one of your fans in the face just because they approached you while you was having dinner. Like they was interrupting your, your, your dinner, you know? Ooh. Like, what were you eating? What were you eating? Like, some fancy steak or something? You just couldn't, you know? Were you starving? Were you fucking starving or some shit? Like, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck wants to punch their fan in the face just because they want to say what's up while they eating? Like, fuck out of here. That's that's whack. That's corny. When you got Taylor Swift up here that's, you know what I'm saying, knocking on people's doors at their residence. Like, yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I'm here to say what's up. No. You can't even get no love for that. But anyway... You got you got real situations that's going on, but you don't want to um, look at that though. Like uh, when Mitt, when Mitt Romney was running for president, oh, you had so much to say about black people on welfare. This, that, and the third. Even though I don't condone that, I don't condone welfare. But anyway, you had so much to say about that, and you was all for Mitt Romney. So. Who who can take you seriously right now? And then you're gonna bring up title. You're bringing up title and and Taylor Swift um leaving um Spiffy and getting applauded and y'all got dragged for title. First of all, who gonna pay twenty dollars a month for some um for some music? 
Twenty dollars a month, my nigga. Is you serious? Are you for real? Nobody's not paying twenty dollars a month for no damn music. I mean, it's not like you could um get an extension if you don't got the twenty dollars for the next month. You could get an extension so, so you can keep hearing your music all month long or, or set up a payment plan. Hell no, they're gonna cut cut that shit off soon as you don't got your twenty dollars. Soon as you ain't got your twenty dollars, they're gonna cut that shit off. You act like this shit, goddamn BET or something. If you, if it's that serious to y'all, when Jay Z got that producer fired from Well System Park, he should have got he should have bought goddamn BET so he can have all the goddamn free music or whatever the music he wanna provide up there for damn twenty dollars a month. Here yeah, you talking about? Put y'all money together and go buy fucking BET if it's that goddamn serious to y'all. Here yeah, you mean who the hell wanna pay twenty dollars a month for some fucking music? You got your goddamn mind, and you know people up here they goddamn on. Uh, they got this damn weed going around and shit, Kush or whatever the hell they shit that they smoke. You know, they, they, niggas ain't gonna give up their damn Kush money for no damn music. You better get real. But into way back to what I was saying about the racist issues, you need to register it. Everybody needs to register it in their minds. Register it in their minds. That Nicki Minaj is only trying to pull the race war and trying to pull the race card because she is not getting the respect and love that she wanted from white people that she aimed for from the very beginning. She made pop music and she sat there and she made it and she vividly clearly said out I remember this I remember it vividly. She said it out her mouth. Black people do not shop from Kmart, but white people do, and they are going to buy her clothing line, okay? Everything she did was to aim at white people. But they wasn't, they not feeling her flavor no more. They not feeling her style no more. Cause they see what kind of person she is. She done this share. She done this damn, um, Mariah Carey. How you going to diss from Mariah Carey and think white people still going to deal with you? You bitches, you crazy. You can't be serious. But in some way, back to what I was saying about title. And that's another thing. Jay-Z been in this business long enough to know black people would do what works for them. We do what works for us. And goddamn, since James Brown been around, black people ain't been buying no music like that. That's why he had to make the song, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. You better do your goddamn research. But in some way, all I know is this is not about a race issue. This is about a woman Who's not getting what she want. And now she's trying to start drama. Within within the people on social media. And everywhere else around this country. Around this world about racism. Because she see how black people react towards racism. But y'all better believe. This same woman up here. Who is not of African American. Of, of this country. Who's from um another country somewhere. She a foreigner. I forget what, where she from. But let me tell y'all something. She got a thing against Americans and she got a thing against black people because she make fun of people uh, that eat ramen noodles, oodles and noodles, where I'm from. Uh, she she make fun of all that type of shit. Follow Nicki Minaj from the time she first started into now and y'all going to see what the hell I'm talking about. That woman do not give a damn about the American people and she damn sure don't give a fuck about black people. And that's real and that's my opinion and I'm sticking to it and I said it and I don't give a fuck. How you doing?